I, I'm Herman, the hopeless hippo. And I'm hopelessly in love with Hannah the hot hippo. Did <laughs> somebody give me a photo of me on a very thirsty? It's okay, I want something. <laughs> As you can tell from my own set state, and then I'm no longer together. <laughs> so this is what happened. Now. Actually, we're having a nice dinner. Heather, my mama, Hippo, and me. Very nice. Everything okay. Then suddenly, mama Hippo said something about grandkids, and then Heather said something about feminism. And then after that, whoa, all the mud started flying. Even got mud in my eye. Then I said, please stop. I love the two of you. You're the two most important women in my life. I cannot choose between the two of you, please stop! But they didn't just not stop, they got all their friends involved. So all the female hippos, walk, boom, 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 mud everywhere. And then when the mud cleared, Heather moved to another river. And I was left all alone. So I now just hide under the mud every day. Very sad. And Mama Hippo said, I should come here. There'll be nice people who'll be willing to listen to me, even though I'm usually very boring. Haha, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> then uh, she also said that if you are nice to me, you know, this kind of feeling is called hope. And this kind of hopeful feeling usually comes from people listening to you, not the drink. <laughs> well, anyway, she always said, Mama Hippo, I should always live with something nice to thank the people for listening to me. So here is my quote of the day. <coughs> Never take the people you love for granted. Always listen to them and never hesitate to buy them the books they love. <laughs> also, if any of you have problems with mold in your bathroom or climate control for your camera equipment, look for me. I'm a thirsty hippo. <laughs> okay, bye.